Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add arcade games to your mini system using HackGCE. This video is going to assume you've already modded your system using HackG and if you haven't, check out the video linked below to learn how to do that. In terms of compatibility, most of the older stuff will work just fine. Any games with 3D graphics however will not work, even if they're minor 3D graphics like something in the background. So no Marvel vs. Capcom 2, also no Primal Rage, and some others. So it's best to stick with simple arcade games. And if you're on the NES or Sega Genesis Mini, remember that you're limited on the amount of buttons you have on the controller. There are alternatives and I have those linked in the description below as well. To get started you can see that my Genesis Mini is hooked up and it is connected to my PC. You can tell by this green light in the bottom. The first thing we have to do is add RetroArch and the Arcade Core to our system. To do that we go to the Modules tab into the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab and select which theme of RetroArch you want. Click Download Module. Next go to the KMFD Cores tab. The arcade cores are listed right here. My personal preference and what should give you the least amount of headache is MAME 2003 Extreme. You want to use the MAME 0.78 ROM set with this core. And because of that I do not suggest looking for individual games online. Look for the entire MAME 0.78 ROM set. It's very important you get your ROMs from that ROM set or else there is no guarantee they will work with this core. Click on MAME 2003 Extreme and again download module. Close down the mod hub, go back into your modules tab and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to MAME 2003 Extreme and RetroArch. Click OK at the bottom. You want to make sure and keep your arcade games in a zip file just like this and don't change the name. I'm going to highlight both our games, drag them into HackG. When this next screen pops up, click Import as Archive. Click Show All. MAME 2003 Extreme and MAME 2003 Extreme one more time. Click Apply, then Close. Because these games aren't native to the mini systems, you will have to get the box art. So you can click Google and you may find something here that works for you. It helps if you change the name of the game. Or if you already have something you want to use, you can click Browse, then navigate to the folder where your artwork is. Since we're adding this to the Sega Genesis Mini, I'm going to click the Spine option. That way I can click a logo that'll be on the spines. Once you have your artwork the way that you like, the last step is to hit Synchronize Selected Games with Mini. And that's all there is to it. Remember, if you're having any trouble with this and if you have any questions, please go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord or subreddit. I have both of them linked down in the description. They can help you out with any issues you're having with this. And that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.